Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have an Easter treat for you. Um, this is a little box that holds one of these. I'm sure you've seen these at your store. They have bunnies, they have chicks, they have something else I can't remember, but these are actually chicks. They look kind of like ducks to me, <laughs> but they are chicks. And I made a little holder for them. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And it just opens up like that. And you just slide that down into the ribbon to hold it closed. All right, we're using Easter Friends, the little chick and the happy Easter, but let's make the holder first. You're gonna need a piece of uh, balmy blue that is, let me look at my notes, nine and three fourths by four and a half. Now we're gonna score, let's start at the short side one and a fourth and then three and a fourth okay now turn it and on the long side you're gonna do two and a half three and three fourths six and a fourth seven and a half eight and nine and a fourth that's a lot of measurements um i have a free pdf on my blog make sure you go over there you can save it print it do whatever you want and it'll have the measurements on there now we're actually going to add another score line here in a minute um but we have to do some cutting away first let's burnish these lines it seems complicated but once you make one i think all the rest after that will be easy we're making really a little seat for our chick to sit down in, in this box, okay? All right, now here is the short, the little short tab. See how this one has a skinny tab at the end? We're gonna start down here. We're gonna cut off these four squares. One's, well, I guess two are rectangles, but these four right here. So one, and two okay now cut this score line right here and right here and we're going to actually cut these at an angle okay so you're going to start from the bottom and go to the top corner All right do the same thing here the bottom to the top corner. All right, now we're gonna bring this back over to our Simply Scored. We're gonna add two score lines. Now these score lines are, are cutting guides. They're not actually for, um, you know, score, like to fold, but it's gonna help you cut your tabs in uh, to the right size. So from each of these lines, you're gonna cut a half inch away from each one. So this one is at three and a fourth. That means you're gonna come here at three and three fourths and you're gonna do a score line all the way down, not on the triangle flap that you made, okay? Just all the way down to there. And then you're gonna do the same thing over here. This score line is at one and a fourth. So at the three fourths mark, you're going to make a score line. Okay, now let's cut away these tabs. What we're doing is making all of these tabs the same height as this center tab. Okay, so cut these away like that. All right, so that, this is what your piece looks like so far. Now, we're going to cut these score lines, but on each one, we're going to actually, well, let me show you the right way to do it. Snip and then cut the corners, okay, like that. You can save yourself a couple of steps, each. well, one step each time by just cutting a triangle around that score line. Um, we're actually gonna cut these squares off completely. And the, I want the tabs to be at an angle, so I'm cutting that off at an angle, all right? Again, like that. And last, we need to cut the tabs, the corners off of these tabs right here. All right, now let me lay it down. That's what it looks like, all right? That's the final piece. 
how it should look. Um, if you need to pause the video, you can. That'll help you with your cutting. We're gonna cut out the little seat for our chick right here. And I played around with my dies to see which one would fit the this little guy the best. Um, play around with what you have. If you don't have this one, this is from the Ornate Frames dies and they are retiring. So um, if you don't get them, you can, an oval might work. Um, there are some other little tag shapes that would work probably as well. Okay, so let's bring the cut and emboss machine over. And I'm actually gonna tape this down to make sure it doesn't slip. I'm just gonna use a little bit of post-it tape and lay that down, okay? All right, let's run that through. And we're ready to put it together. Let's see if I can take that off like that. All right, I think I'm gonna use tear and tape. Um, you can use Tombow. I like tear and tape specifically for this project because um, the tabs are pretty narrow and tear and tape will work. I need to think ahead about where I'm gonna put my tape. Let me show you how this goes. All of this is gonna fold in together. So you're gonna want tape here on the inside of these, and then it's gonna fold over and adhere to, <laughs> adhere to these guys right here. All right, these tabs are needing probably to be a, taped in too. So see, put those two tabs in. Oh my goodness, they are just misbehaving today. And then this is gonna go over those. And then you want to put adhesive on the outside of that so that it can be adhered to the back side like that. Okay. All right. So let's start right here. Okay. And I think I'm going to put a little bit, you know, let's do a little bit of Tombow there. That'll just make that easier. I'm gonna put a little bit just right there. All right, so then we've got these guys. Let's lift that up. All right, so put those tabs in. Okay, put those tabs in. You wanna make sure everything's square. And then we're gonna fold over and press those into the sides. Okay, now we need, well I tore off way more tear and tape than I needed. Now we're gonna put some tear and tape right here. And fold that up and in. Okay, so see how we have that little seat there for our duck? I mean our chick. <laughs> I keep wanting to call him a duck because he looks like a duck. Okay, now I'm going to add some adhesive here as well to adhere those flaps. Let's get that backing off like that. And my goodness, come on. My tear and tape, whoa, look at that, it peeled right off. Let's try that again. I hadn't stuck it down very well. <laughs> I was just about to say, look how nice and behaved my tear and tape has been today. And then it proved me wrong. Okay, so can you see how that is? How cute? And then that's gonna go over like that. All right, now let's put our little chick in. And if you want, one thing I like to do with my candies that are sticking down into something is I like to put a little dimensional down on the bottom just to kind of hold them in. 
So now he's definitely not going anywhere, but they can easily pull him out. Okay, so now our other pieces. I've got some of this um, abstract beauty, I believe, designer series paper. You guys make sure you click on the link, go back to my blog. I'll have the, the full supply list with the correct names <laughs> and measurements there. I'll put that there. And then I've got this Just Jade ribbon and we're gonna tie that around the bottom, which is gonna keep the little flap down and it'll slide down into that bow, into the ribbon. You can adhere the ribbon. You can put some tape on the back and adhere it there if you want, but mine has stayed pretty good. Just depends on who you're giving yours to if you think that ribbon needs to be stuck down on the back side. All right, let's see if we can slide it over with the bow on that side. I like that, that bow's a little bit big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Here we go. And I've got to adjust that just a bit. There we go. Okay, now for our chick. We are using the little chick <laughs> from Hello Friends. I'm gonna stamp it in Memento on a basic white circle. The circle, I believe, is about one and three-fourths inch. And I'm just gonna color it with my Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blends. We're gonna put vellum over it, so I'm not too worried about, you know, adding all the details and stuff. But I am gonna add some color. We'll add Peekaboo Peach. Nope, that's the old name. <laughs> After two years, you'd think I didn't remember the name. It's Pale Papaya. Now we're gonna layer a vellum circle over that. We're gonna stamp the hell, uh, Happy Easter onto that. Um, but let me show you how I did that because the Happy Easter is one whole word. So I, you wanna stamp it with your Stamparatus onto your grid paper. And actually I wanna use, oh yeah, this is stays on. You wanna use stays on um, for your vellum. All right, so now I can take my vellum circle, put it right there. Um, I'm gonna clean my stamp off. Okay, let it dry for a second. And then take a post-it note or post-it tape, mask off that second word, because right now all we want is the happy. Take the tape off and stamp. Well, did we get it? I think we did. That magnet is in the way, but we got it. Happy. Let me move it. Let's do it one more time to make sure. There we go. Okay. Now let's take it and move it so that we get the Easter right where we want it. Again, clean off your stamp because you don't want the happy part to be stamping, you know, over here. We just want the Easter part. Give it a sec to dry. Cover up the happy. Ink the Easter with stays on. And there we go. Happy Easter. Oh, I smeared ink on the side. Well, we're just gonna go with it. If I wasn't making a video, I would redo it. Now, what I have found with vellum is that stamp and seal works really well. If you put the stamp and seal there on the colored part, you really don't see it. Okay, and then I have a Just Jade uh, scalloped circle. Just Jade is retiring. There we go, and then we'll put that right there on our box. And 
there you have it so adorable you know i've always seen these in the store and really wanted to come up with something to hold them and i think this is a really cute solution all right make sure you hop back over to my blog um, grab that free pdf and check out the other two easter friends projects happy easter everybody Bye bye